beautiful friends and my beautiful manifestors. This is Iris from UniversalIris.com, Facebook, Universal Iris. And today is, I mean, today's topic is really important. Like, one of the best topics I will ever talk about, honestly. And, well, is how I was able to remove this huge abundance block that many of us suffer from. So many of us suffer from this abundance block. So the abundance block this year that I was able to remove, and now I'm very happy to talk about it because I feel just, I feel like now I'm on the other side and things are flowing so smoothly that, um, that yeah, it, it's really worth talking about. So I had the intention early this year, and even last year, but early this year I gave myself the intention of, um, I wanted to remove my own mental barriers so I can make more money and therefore I wanted to explore them. That set off an onset of things that were really crazy and, um, and almost difficult to go through. The abundance block that was holding me back was actually uh, pairing my self-esteem to how much money I had in my bank account. We all have an energetic salary. We are comfortable making an X amount of money, but yet we are not comfortable making twice as much as that money. Like, we all want to make twice as much, but when the time comes to actually to have the opportunity to make so much more money, we actually t kind of tend to get nervous and we don't know how to really act. So I kind of wanted to break that mental barrier for myself. And um, so here I am thinking that I just want to learn to make more money for myself and pass my own energetic salary. This in turn uh, created a whole new set of uh, situations and understanding for myself on how I was holding myself back through my own self-esteem. So let me get a little bit more uh, deeper in this or clear in this. <laughs> I was just really like my whole sense of being my whole sense of wellness in at the end of everything my own sense of being my own sense of wellness really depended on how much money I had in my bank account so if I had X amount of money in my in my bank account I would feel good and abundant and I would make more money I would have more clients and I would be like oh yeah you know but then there's always something that is gonna go wrong in your life. There's always uh, unexpected bills and things like that. And when those things started to show up and I started feeling that money was like slipping out of my hands and my bank account started, that, that number in my bank account started to go lower and lower, I actually started feeling less and less comfortable with myself. Um, I started feeling less worthy. And one of the, re the things that made me realize this is I was honest with myself and I asked myself, Iris, I was kind of in a negative spiral already of shame. And I asked myself, Iris, what would make me feel, what would make you feel happy right now? Or what would make you feel happy? Because right now, nothing makes you feel happy. So what would make you feel happy? And very honestly, I answered to myself and I said, if I had X amount of money, you know, or if I had more money than that, I'll be honest, I would feel happier. I would have my life back. I would have my wittiness back. I would have, you know, that sense of well-being back, you know, that sense of natural happiness and joy. And when I actually answered that to myself, I said, holy shit, there's something wrong here. This is not correct. And so I started doing what I do with my clients. <laughs> I started exploring my own brain, my own subconscious. It took me a while um, and it took me some synchronicities and signs from the universe to help me understand what was going on. But I'll explain what I actually do for people, what I actually help people with. And what I help people with is not only life coaching, not only helping people how to turn their minds around and um, basically uh, uh, train your mind to think more positive, but I really help people how to heal emotionally. 
through recovering memories where the beginning of their anxieties and the beginning of their beliefs started. So my belief was um, I would be happier if I had more money or I would, I would be happier if I have this X amount of money and then more money after that. And so I started to just explore and go into this deep meditation because I do holistic hypnotherapy with people, which is a deep meditation process. And, um, and it took me a while. I, whenever I do this for people, it's, I do this, it takes me honestly almost a few minutes. But for me, you know, I, I, it takes me a good minute because I have to learn how to do this for myself so that I can learn how to do it for everybody else. When I started doing this process, I came into this memory which was really powerful. I came into this memory and even then, the memory didn't feel so powerful. Many times when I work with my clients and I help them recover a memory, they're like, wow, I didn't know that this affected me so much. So I had the same reaction for myself. I started to, when I, when I, and I'm gonna tell you right now, when I actually went into the memory, I was like, wow, I didn't know that this affected me so much. But I realized, I remember, I actually remembered that I, when I was in high school, I had this friend that she was very privileged. privileged. She was this uh, beautiful girl she was this beautiful girl and she was awesome. She was, she was one of my best friends. But guess what? She came from like this, you know, upper, upper, upper middle class or high class. And I was just middle class. Actually, I recovered two memories. I was just this normal middle class girl, no big deal. But the thing was, is that she was definitely more privileged than I am. And I remember one time uh, we were going out and she said to me, Dun, 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 dun. She said to me, Iris, you're so cheap. And the thing is, is that I know she didn't mean it in a wrong way. Um, she really cared for me. But that memory stuck with me. That, that feeling of powerlessness. Because when she said that, I felt so powerless. Because it's not that I'm cheap, it's that I don't have the means that you have. And it made me feel so powerless because I couldn't explain myself and I couldn't do anything about it because I just didn't have the means to afford the things that she could do. And that created a ripple in my brain and in my self-esteem. Then I started realizing from then on that everything that I did was uh, all about money. Was all about like every job that I had, as soon as I graduated high school, I started working and I just started chasing the positions, the higher positions. And I started chasing the, the salaries of those positions. And I liked the challenge, but, didn't, but I didn't quite like the job. And so it, it just, it really woke me up to understand where it comes from. And not only that, but I was able to recover this whole other memory from my parents and my mom that um, my mom always said, you know, we don't have enough money, we don't have enough money. And I was able to put the connections together in how that affected me on how I felt about my own self-esteem. Because even though my mom said, oh no, we, I don't have that much money, don't ask me for money, I don't have that much money. It's like, that's what made me feel so powerless because we still lived in a really big house. We still had some luxuries, but at the same time, I felt guilty of asking for money because my mom would talk about how there wasn't enough money. And then here's my friend who kind of lived down the street from me and also had a really beautiful big home. And then we would go out together and she would be so much more privileged than I was than I was and being able to afford these things and I couldn't quite afford these things when it kind of looked like I did and yet I felt very powerless because I did I could not so it was like this crazy you know connection in my brain 
that made me feel so powerless if I didn't have this certain amount of money. When I actually realized that that was it, that that was the root of everything, oh my God, that made such a big difference into how my money started flowing. And not only that, I started feeling the sense of certainty. You know, I started to just understand that I am completely and fully abundant. And it just, it just became so much easier and I just became so much more secure and I no longer needed to pair my confidence to my bank account. And so, because whatever happened in the past stayed in the past, I was able to heal it, forgive it, and let it go. This is how I was able to heal myself emotionally and understand that I don't have to live this way anymore. And so, this is what I do for people, guys. We can train our minds every day, all day, to um, do the rituals and think positive and all these things. But if you don't get to the bottom of where your uh, insecurity started, we're not gonna be able, you are not gonna be able, we are not gonna be able to understand why they continue to happen. Why do I continue to feel this way when I don't have this much money? Or why do I continue to go to, into these negative spirals and not feel abundant when I know deep down inside I am? So I really hope this helped you all. Um, you know where to find me at universaliris.com. Um, if you need any of my services, you can shoot me an email, iris at universaliris.com. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.